Thank you for joining me again. I'm Brian Shields. I hope you are doing well. Now, I want to get to the next spot that could develop. Here's what's going on. Here's the Atlantic, Caribbean, Gulf of Mexico. You get these fronts that sweep by the United States. And along those, you could get some spin-ups. And that's what has the potential to develop by the time we get into next week. Conditions because, uh, could become a little more conducive for development. Out here, not so much. Some blobs of rain and storms. Uh, not organized, but that is where we saw our first tropical wave of the season come off. And again, not a lot with it at this point, kind of right through here, that first tropical wave, not expecting development there, but it's closer to home where I do believe there could be some development by uh, early to mid next week. So let me break this down for you. Here's what's going on across the Caribbean. We've got some extra clouds and spots, scattered showers and storms in some locations, especially later in the day. And I'm going to break down the forecast for the next couple of days, the rain outlook. I'm going to get into that. Gulf of Mexico generally quiet now. We've seen a little system trying to clear the Bahamas. So let me show you, just take you down the road and exactly what I'm seeing with this spot that could develop. So this is later today. So setting the stage and I'm going to dive down a little bit closer to show you again the rainfall today. So I got you covered with that, but I want to take you out on time and watch up here. I mentioned those fronts that sweep by. Now, by the time we get into Saturday, there'll be another front that'll be very close by. There's a little piece of energy, kind of a little storm system, if you will, out in the middle of the United States right now, way out in the middle of the United States. It'll dive down and then it'll kind of park itself somewhere along the Southeast US. Now, let me stop it here. By the time we get into Tuesday, that front moves by, that little piece of energy will be nearby and you can pick it out on your screen yourself. This could leave some leftover rain around by early next week. Very close to Florida, very close to the Bahamas, somewhere in here off the coast of Georgia, the Carolinas, should be north of Cuba. But this is the spot I'll be watching for that potential. Again, this is by the time we get into Tuesday morning of next week, possibility that something in this area does flare up. I want to draw your attention to something else as well. While this may develop into something, look down here extra rainfall trying to squeak in near Trinidad and Tobago, Grenada, Guyana, and Suriname. Now moving forward deeper into next week. So this is over a week from now. And as you know, this is going to change. But on this channel, I'll take you through things step by step as we go through the hurricane season. Everything I'm thinking, seeing, I will let you know what's going on. So this is by the time we get into next Thursday. That little piece of energy is somewhere over here. It could be near the Bahamas or up toward Bermuda. But there could be some sort of circulation trying to develop out of this. So watching out for that. And then keep in mind more tropical waves that could eventually break the pattern further in the Caribbean and feed in more moisture. So there is a spot to watch next week it may develop nothing alarming nothing like that at this point i just want to let you know what i'm seeing down the road for that next potential area of development all right as promised let me break it down again watching our friends over toward the cayman islands jamaica today pop-up shower this here cuba haiti dominican republic puerto rico uh british virgin islands u.s virgin islands hit or miss shower a little bit more northern venezuela and over toward colombia by the peninsula guyana Suriname, some scattered showers not not a ton in Trinidad could get a passing shower. St. Lucia, Barbados, uh, Dominica, Martinique, Guadalupe. It's still that easterly flow stuff. Antigua and Barbuda, Anguilla, same thing. St. Kitts and Nevis over towards Saba, Montserrat. Could see a little passing shower. But look at this in the Western Caribbean drier. This is by the time we get into tomorrow afternoon. Belize, the rain chance. We had some rain a couple days ago. Some spots have had it here and there. It is actually going to get even drier. This is as we work our way into Friday. Same setup. Not a lot in the Western Caribbean be in Nicaragua, mainly dry. Costa Rica, Panama, passing shower. Uh, scattered showers here and there. And again, this kind of flaring up late in the day. Haiti, Dominican Republic, Turks, Caicos, Bahamas, passing shower chance. So let me break down some of the forecasts for us going forward. Now, Belize, I just mentioned that rain chance, it's pretty minimal. Honduras included. Yucatan Peninsula, Mexico included as well. Limited chance of a shower. Working forward as we work our way into Jamaica. Scattered showers, again, not all day stuff. Not all of us get it, but with the heating of the day and the fronts up to the north, still about a 50 to 60% chance of some showers and storms. Bahamas, rain chance kind of spotty, of course. We're stretching out. We've got 700 islands here. So again, watching out for some scattered showers at times, and I'll keep an eye on that next system that's going to roll closer. If there's any development near the Bahamas, I'll be letting you know. Thank you for sharing this channel. As we get toward Dominica, as I mentioned earlier, again, 20 to 30% chance 
of a passing shower or two, picking up a bit by the time we get into Friday. Grenada holding at that 30% chance. We've also had a few showers here and there over the last couple days and working our way into Trinidad and Tobago. Again, rain chance a little bit higher to the south through Guyana and Suriname, but the rain chance about 40 to 50%. But remember, I just went way out in time. So if you're watching from Trinidad and Tobago, for example, uh, down the road next week, there could be a shot, a decent shot of getting more rain in here. I was showing you that spin near the Bahamas, but there's also that moisture kind of coming in from the Atlantic. So a wait and see on that, but I'm going to be diving into that further. Guyana and Suriname, rain chance anywhere from 60 to about 90 percent. So again, the scattering of showers and storms around. Also, this going on in Colombia. Now, the last three days, the Nevado del Ruiz, an active volcano, again, this had that eruption, that bigger eruption, uh, let's see, just a couple of weeks ago. It has been more active the last couple of days. I'm thinking of our friends down there. I did a big video on that because this, if it does erupt, still a big eruption, if it has one of those big eruptions, that would put a lot of ash up there, way up there in the sky, it would impact a large region. So again, I broke that down on YouTube, search earth qc and you could get that i'll put a link to that in the uh, comments as well so again as we get closer to the hurricane season i got my eyes on everything watching near the bahamas possible development next week uh, watching the southeastern united states especially as you get toward florida georgia the carolinas out toward Bermuda. If anything does develop, I'll let you know. And watching those tropical waves moving off the coast of Africa, and that will help us gradually transition into the wet season, which a lot of us need desperately with still those water restrictions and water shortages going on. And again, the latest on the now even more active volcano over on Earth QC. So I'll keep you posted. I've got a lot to track. I'll be tracking it with you. Thank you for getting the word out about this channel. I do it for safety. Spread the word. Have a great day.